Hello everyone. Happy New Year sa inyo lahat. Uh, this is my first upload for the year 2022 and I look forward to more uploads and be more active sa channel na ito. Just a quick life update. Since my last upload, I just shared about being hired in an online job and unfortunately, the job did not take too long because the company has to close due to the pandemic, right? But Luckily though, uh, when the door closes, another one opens and I have been working in the public sector, in the public industry here in the Philippines. I did use though some money from my emergency fund because I was unemployed for a few months then and I really realized how important it is to have savings and something to use. Uh, anyways, today, sabayan niyo ko as I share my new budget setup new sinking funds, goals, and plans this year. Uh, kamusta na ba yung aking journey uh, following the envelope system? And uh, I also have an additional system to use while still adhering to the envelope system. Uh, so you all know, right? Uh, uh, I am a cash envelope system follower and my first upload here on YouTube is the beginner's guide on how to start. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it down for you or up here anywhere anywhere is a screen uh, please do watch because that might help you in getting started and following the cash envelope system as well and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing we are 350 subs still 1k and that's one goal i have to reach this month so please help me reach 1k thank you uh, so you can see we are trying to maximize our resources and I love the old-fashioned handwritten budget category listing because, you know, I feel like I can just check them and hold them anytime because, you know, I have the pen, I have the paper or the notebook. But in preparation, though, I use my phone because there are times when I, um, I have something in mind or something come up, I can just easily and, you know, automatically jot that down using the notes or the notepad on my smartphone so every day is a new day to learn you know other things so whatever na nasa sa inyo or may gusto kayong i-try na new way of listing your budget plan you can do it as well and i'm happy to share this with you because this somehow or this might be a basis or your guide to start and you know get along with the system that you are following so as you all know i have three categories and each category has subcategories and actually i already planned my main categories this year so let's start just a side note guys though these are my three main categories but under sinking funds talaga these will really vary because we all have for example, we have uh, short-term goals, long-term goals, or even year-long goals then. So you can just be mindful or flexible with your categories and it is easier to put achievable sinking funds. But if you're up for a challenge, it is honestly fun and inspiring to see your sinking funds grow. And you, if you are saving or putting money under sinking funds to pay your debt or a monthly uh, monthly down payment for a home it is nice to have that included in your sinking funds so here's my quick history of how i started being a follower of the cash envelope system i have been doing it since 2017 and with that i was able to save um, my first savings was about twenty five thousand, i think and the system worked for me which made me so happy because i am such a buy here buy there type of person uh, it worked for me and I know and I hope it will work for you as well. But in my case, I did not really need the motivation because every single goal that I put in my sinking funds are those that really mean something to me. So the value of that goal is just right for me to be motivated. For the past five years, I was able to save attend the concert of my dreams, enroll my master's degree, and low-key, I can say that I, I was able to get my life together without the help of my family in the financial department. 
I have been loving the independence and with my journey, I have learned a lot without me knowing. Every goal that I put on my sinking fund, I hold on to them because I really want them to be achieved or attained. So if you're watching this right now and motivated, I want you to know that if not now, when? If not you, who? I always say to myself, and I could be harsh more, most of the time to myself as well, but I always say this to myself, that actually, at the end of the day, nobody cares. Nobody cares who you are. Nobody cares what you do. You might be recognized for a period of time, but after that, people go back to their own lives. They only care and respond to successful and positive moments of someone's life or even you know, when negative moments or death of someone. And we rarely see or meet someone who become our best friend or someone that really cares and understands. That's just for me at this very moment of my life, ha. Huh? But if you have something to share right now, as of the moment, if you want to share your life view or experiences at this very challenging moment of our lives, let me know in the comments. Another one, guys, work with what you have to achieve what you need or want. In that case, you don't have to buy fancy notebooks or pens. If you have watched my first video, I used an old desk calendar as my cash envelopes, and they're working very fine even up to this day. And also, I made my own envelopes using recycled materials, and you know, my setup actually is straight to the point and minimalistic because. I am not an aesthetic type of person. I can though, but I have no time because of work, so. I would just like to share to you guys a quick, you know, info a little bit. This home builds and includes water bill, electric bill, internet, um, gas na ginagamit namin sa bahay. If you have seen my cash stuffing video last year, you already know. And then, home payment because I purchased a property, you know, a little house, so I have to pay for that. And then, insurance that includes health with a VUL na investment. And of course, my phone, I am paying that through postpaid plans so smart, so that's 2600 a month. And then monthly, I also see my own, my, my own, my, <laughs> bulul ka girl. As, dito talaga ako nagbulul, no? Because, napapanahon, I have to visit my ortho because I am wearing braces right now. Um, 3,000 pesos for monthly adjustments. And then Freedom Life, uh, 1,120. And then, these are my categories that law, my monthly obligations, variable spending and expenses, and then my sinking funds. Um, hindi kasali sa category ang savings because that is an automatic, you know, automatic talaga siya na dapat gawin. Okay, so proceed tayo sa variable spending or expenses. So ano yung mga subcategories ko under this? I have my allowance for work and school. I have 1,500 and then I always give something for mama that's 4,000 and then for spending look at my spending only 300 pesos ang lungkot naman pero that's what that's how I want my spending as much or as low as 300 pesos and then let's proceed to my sinking funds I only have two goals or plans so far for the start of the year so that's my tuition fee for my next sem enrollment and then i want to purchase an ipad guys so that's one goal that we have so that's about my categories and the subcategories under it so i hope this will serve as your guide or may natutunan kayo and if you need more explanation, balikan nyo lang po talaga yung video ko, yung, ano, yung beginner's guide. Thank you sa panonood and I see you during my cash stuffing with this budget plan. See you guys!